produce a surplus. That is the difference between the amount received from selling a product and the lowest price that the seller would have been willing to accept. The seller's reservation price. Let's use the example of a craft market. And there are various craftspeople who show up to sell masks at this craft market. The one who is the most skilled and therefore is able to knock out one of these masks in the shortest possible time is willing to accept $10 because he's so efficient at making these masks. That is telling you that to supply one mask, the height of the supply curve is $10. Because $10 is what at least one mask seller is willing to accept for his mask on a particular day. When he gets to the market, he discovers that the masks are selling for $50. The difference between that $50 and the $10 he would have been willing to accept is that seller's producer surplus. Another craftsperson, not quite as skilled and therefore making a mask takes longer, is not willing to accept less than $20. If the going price is $50, then that seller's producer surplus is $30. A third seller, not willing to accept less than 40, the producer surplus there is $10. So we see that for each item, the producer surplus is the difference between price and the height of the supply curve for that item. And therefore, the producer surplus for the entire market is the area between the line representing price and the supply curve. For a market with a large number of suppliers, and the supply curve is therefore smoother, the producer surplus is the area above the supply curve and below the line representing price.